Get ready for a wild ride where we'll uncover some of the most jaw-dropping cave discoveries ever. Imagine walking into a cave lit up by thousands of tiny glow worms, or exploring an ancient winery hidden deep in a cave. But hold on, there is more. We've got some secrets and surprises waiting for you that are going to totally blow your mind. Let's dive into the world of incredible cave discoveries that shock the whole world. Number 1. Let's go on an amazing adventure to New Zealand, where we'll find something really special. Imagine walking into a cave where it looks like the night sky has come down to the ground. It's dark, but there are thousands of tiny glow worms lighting up the place. These glow worms give off a beautiful blue light. It's like they're weaving a blanket of tiny stars in the caves. In the North Island, there is a place called Waitomo Caves. Here you can take a peaceful boat ride deep underground. You'll see the cave ceiling all lit up with these glow worms. It's like a sky full of stars. But that's not at all. In the South Island, there are the Denel glow worm caves. They're really old about 12,000 years, and they're always changing. Deep in the ocean, some fish, squids, and jellyfish also glow. They use this light in the dark sea to find their way, hunt for food, and even talk to each other without making a sound. Some of them can even blend in with the light from above, so predators can't see them. How fascinating is that? Number 2. Let's take an exciting trip to the crystal caves in the Bahamas. Imagine a place where the ceiling is covered in crystal roses, looking like beautiful chandeliers. And the floor? It's like a carpet of giant crystals. This place is so amazing, it almost feels like you're in a fairy tale. Picture yourself walking in, led by an expert cave diver. You'll see crystal roses hanging from above. They're so pretty, they look like glass art. The crystal pools? They're like colorful candy rocks. In these caves, every corner is full of wonders. You see big crystal columns and pools that change colors, from white to red and orange. It's like walking in a rainbow. And if you love diving, this is your dream place. You can dive and take your time to see all the beauty in the first 300 meters of the cave. But that's not all. There are other cool caves to explore, like the Devil's Eye in Florida and the Blue Grotto in Italy. Each one is unique and just as magical. Number 3. Deep in a cave near Toulouse, France, there is a secret from the past that's just been uncovered. Scientists have found something amazing, structures made from stalagmites that were built by Neanderthals about 175,000 years ago. Imagine that, our ancient cousins creating something so long ago. These structures are really cool. There is this huge ring that's 23 feet wide, all made out of stalagmites. They took these from the cave floor and put them together in a really dark place. But here is something even more interesting. They found signs of fire near these structures. Maybe Neanderthals used them as shelters or safe places. This discovery is turning what we thought about Neanderthals upside down. It looks like they were smarter than we thought. They could think symbolically, knew a lot about different things, and might have even talked a bit. And get this, they did all this before modern humans even came to Europe. It was just Neanderthals around at that time. We're not sure what they use these structures for, but they tell us so much about Neanderthals. They had skills and probably worked together. It's like we're meeting our ancient relatives again and seeing them in a new light. Number 4. Ready for a trip back in time? In a cave near a small village in Armenia, where they found the world's oldest shoe, archaeologists have made another cool discovery. They found the oldest winery ever. It's like stepping 6,000 years back in history to see how people made wine. This place is like a snapshot of ancient winemaking. They found the wine press, big pots for fermenting and storing the wine, cups for drinking, and even leftovers of grape wines, skins, and seeds. 
Guess what? The cave was like a natural wine cellar. Cool and dry, perfect for making wine. And here is something really interesting. They did tests on all pottery pieces and found traces of a pigment that makes red the wine its color. They are still looking for more evidence, but experts think that this is solid proof of really old winemaking. So, next time you enjoy a glass of wine, think about this. People have been doing this for thousands of years, and we just found a place where it might have all started. Number 5. Deep in the jungles of Belize, there is a mysterious cave called Aktun Tonichul Muknal, or ATM for short. This isn't just any cave, it's a hidden gem with a story that goes back over a thousand years. Now here is where it gets really interesting. Inside this cave there are skeletons of children and adults that sparkle like crystals. They think these were sacrifices to the ancient Maya gods. The most famous is the crystal maiden, who is actually a 17-year-old boy. His bones have turned into this shiny crystal-like stuff over time. These people were different ages, from babies to adults, and their heads were shaped in a really unique way. Figuring out exactly how old these skeletons are is a bit tricky, but the pots they found in the cave say it was probably between 700 and 900 AD. But why were they there? Something they were offerings to gods, like the rain god Chuck. Others believed it might have been seen as witches, and left in the cave to trap their spirit. What's really cool is that the ATM cave is still in its natural state. It's like a time capsule, giving us a peek into a past we're still trying to understand. Isn't it amazing to think about what secrets are still hidden in there? Number 6. Have you ever heard about a really special tradition from Anshun in southwest China? It's something quite different. People there put wooden coffins in caves, and over time they slowly fall apart. They believe this helps the souls of the people who have passed away go up to heaven. In this area, there are lots of caves filled with these coffins. We're talking about hundreds of thousands of them, all in different stages of falling apart. Some caves even belong to specific families. Take the Liu family, for example. They have a cave with more than 500 coffins. Now, why did they start doing this? There is a legend that says it's because the area used to flood a lot. By putting the coffins in caves, they kept them safe from the water. Another idea is that people who moved to Guangzhou a long time ago did it. They wanted to go back in their original home someday, so instead of burying the coffins, they put them in caves. It's like a link to the past, showing how people from long ago thought about life, death and what comes after. Pretty amazing, right? If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more. Till next time.